What's up guys, Luke here again and we are bringing this series back. So it wasn't really a series but I've done it over the past few FIFAs and basically we're going to be trading to a player in a day. I decided to bring it back because it will be something fresh every week. There will be a new player to trade to, a new challenge in the video. So. The first one we're doing this with is we're going to be using two methods. The first one is going to be sniping the marquee matchups that I will have a video out in just a... Uh in like a few days um, also this is a uh, BPL silver method that I've been using as well that I'll have a video out on as well and we're also going to be training with some chem styles and some position change cards so the first episode we're going to be trading to the inform Ashley Young is currently around 25 to 28 thousand coins as re I'm recording this and as you can see we started off by picking up a couple of silver BPL players for 200 coins sniping them list them both up for around 500 coins then we go and get a Alberto Moreno for around uh, 1k I believe it was uh, with a catalyst on as well and um, to make some pretty nice coins off him 350 coins from a daily objective um, I know it's not really cheating but I mean it's just part of the uh, the game now 350 coins here for this Rogic or Ro Rogic, I don't know how to say his name. He has got the Catalyst on him though. For 350 coins, that is a bargain because Catalyst itself goes for around 1,000 coins. We'll list him up for around 1.1k. If he sells, that will be some nice profit there. As you can see, we come back. Two players have indeed sold. That is the Moreno and the Celtic Cam. We then go and get a Walcott at right forward for 1.5k that we're going to list up for 2.2k. We also get Izaguedo, I believe, with Catalyst. Um... For 1.1k that we can list up for 1. Point, uh, no 2k sorry no 1.8k my bad so we list him up as well and as you can see now when we come back those two players are still listed up we'll be then going to start sniping the marquee matchups which like i said i will have a video out probably on probably tomorrow actually um but yeah this method really works really really well because you get some really good deals you can see there 200 coins 500 coins 200 coins and uh, 450 coins for all those non-rare silvers, as you can see, we come back a load of these players did indeed sell. So it was working that well. I just decided to carry on sniping these players for a little while. As you can see there, 450 for him, 550 for him, uh, 500 for him as well. And then as you can see, when we come back, 19 players have sold. Uh... We actually picked up a load of left forwards, which the clips actually got corrupt for, unfortunately. And then these next lot of players here, as you can see, 19 players did sell. The players that you've seen that have sold that I haven't shown the clips for, it's because the clips actually corrupted, but it was all a sniping method with left forwards that I will have a video on uh, probably in the next few days as well. And as you can see, we start going picking up more of these. This is pretty much what the method was. I was sniping them all for a certain price, which I will have a video on. Like I said, we get a few Tysons, El Shirari, uh, Conor Plianca, Izaguerdo, Depay, Elijah Elia there. And as you can see, when we come back, we are just about to check uh, Inform Ashley Young's price because... I wanted to trade to someone different, but I thought Ashley Young is BPL, he's English, he's probably going to go up at some point as well. Uh, but as you can see, we're on around 28,000 coins now. A lot of players did sell. We still have a Walcott selling as well, as well as a uh, is it, uh, Elia, sorry, at left forward. Um, but as you can see now, we are going to go into the transfer market and try and pick up a Ashley Young. Um, so yeah, this account that I'm using this for, um, I am actually going to keep all the players that I trade to in a day. And maybe like every month, we can look back and see what... Um, players we've traded to in that month essentially um i don't think i'm going to do any more from the current team of the week i might just wait till the next team of the week so as soon as wednesday at three o'clock when team of the week gets announced tweet me some of the players that you actually want me to trade so as you can see i managed to get one there well i missed that one there for 25k i managed to get one for 26k but that's actually going to do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you're glad that this is coming back um trading to unreal probably be out in the next few days as well um so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you on the next one peace